Hi, I'm Canadian artist Roxanne Turgis. My friend Margaret and I have just finished a week at the Dublin Plein Air Festival, which is a paint out seven days a week in seven different locations. We've had the most beautiful weather. Today is the last day. And as we drove home, we have rain. So we've had a wonderful, wonderful time. The uh, garden where we're staying at this bed and breakfast is quite lovely. But you can see and probably hear the rain coming down. So we've just returned from the last of the seven days and we're exhausted. We're packing and we head back to uh, Canada tomorrow. But if you should ever want to come and have a wonderful time, just look up Dublin Plein Air Festival and somehow get there. It's particularly inexpensive if you live in Europe. Coming from Canada costs a bit more. You need your airfare and whatnot. But please try and come. You will be happy with all of the locations that we go to. Some of them were Swords Castle, Malahide Castle, Loch Blanford, sure. Blanchard's Town, the largest estate in Ireland, which is called Farmley Estate. Amazing property. Uh, today we painted on the beach in Balbriggan. We painted on the beach in Scarries. Now we did get rained in Scarries, but that was the only day we were actually rained out. So when we were painting, the first day we were painting in Scarries, and we did get rained out part way through the day. But this is the piece that I started and just finished when I got home. It's called Stoop Your Head, and it's two restaurants on the main street of Scarries, and it's spelled S-K-E-R-R-I-E-S. This part of the building was also part of the restaurant, but to get to it, you had to stoop your head to get through because it was a very low passageway. The next day, we went to Stones Castle in Stones, Ireland. And some of us went down to paint the estuary. And this is my piece from there. And as I cleaned off my palette, I only had a few pieces of um, a little bit of paint left. And I was actually going to put this tree in front of here, which is what it was originally planned for. And in the end, I just cleaned my palette off and did the trees on a separate canvas. I really like the colors, the way this one's turned out. The next day we went to Bonaparte and I went down and painted, oh, I better take these off, went down and painted some of the beach houses just peeking over the back of these high sand dunes. So there were three houses in here, somewhat reminiscent of paintings I did when we were in um, Brittany in, in France. And here is Lambay Island, and it's a, an island that cannot be sold. It has to remain in the family, and, and from what someone was telling me, that was um, there were several people committing suicide in there because they only had a little bit of um, traffic in people. It was a private island. The third day, or the fourth day, I guess it was, we went to... Malahide Castle. And Malahide Castle, we walked through this area from here into here into their into their gardens. The main castle was in the other direction from where I was. And I saw these lovely poppies to paint, so I painted those at Malahide. We went to Blanchard's Town, lock number 12, and these were all locks that had barges with people living in them. And the interesting thing about this barge is this was a very small barge. And this huge, huge barge was kind of tucked in beside it. It wasn't the best painting there according to their, their style, but I quite enjoyed the day. And the last day we were there, we went to Balbriggan. Balbriggan also has a harbor and along the harbor were a lot of these a Martello Towers, the water was coming in, uh, the sky was quite overcast at the time, and that was the one I worked on early in the day. And then after lunch, we had a paint off where we had maximum two hours to complete a painting, 
and it was um, a benefit so we all had to pay and leave the money for the benefit. This is Balbriggan Harbor and I am quite happy with this because I'm not used to painting a lot of greys and I think I captured the greys quite nicely here. So if you ever want to go and have an experience, might not be to Ireland but this is what we found in Ireland and it was wonderful. Give yourself a chance to do a, a paint out week. It's, it's amazing for how your mind works. It's totally different from any of the other worries. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.